Good morning. Uh, my name is Paul Gailey, and I'm Senior Science Advisor to the Fetzer Institute. It is a great pleasure to welcome you here today on behalf of the Center for the Study of Science and Religion, uh, for Columbia University, and for the Fetzer Institute. Fetzer has a long-standing interest in the subject of consciousness and has sponsored a number of meetings on emergence and the scientific and spiritual approaches to some of the difficult questions of our times. Today's conference is part of a collaboration between the CSSR and Fetzer. A little over a year ago, this collaboration resulted in an, another very interesting conference, which actually happened right here, uh, entitled Love and Its Obstacles. And uh, if you'd like to learn more about that, uh, you can take a look at the CSSR website and see also a number of other very interesting programs that have been sponsored. Uh, if you'd like to learn a little more about Fetzer, Fetzer also has a, a website to talk a little bit about some of its programs. Sometime after that last conference, I approached Bob Pollack, who is the director of the CSSR, with the idea of organizing a symposium on the nature of consciousness. Bob was enthusiastic about the idea, and we began to explore various ways to structure this and put it together. During this process, Bob enlisted Chris Kelly, who's a graduate student here at Columbia University, to serve as project leader for the conference. Later, Annabella Pitkin, another graduate student in the religion department, also assumed a key role. Chris and Annabella are studying Indo-Tibetan Buddhism here at Columbia, and I, I must tell you that they have done an outstanding job of conceptualizing and pulling this conference together. A number of other students have also worked with us on the conference, and I can't name them all, but a couple are Katie Gerbner, Laura Bothwell, and Fiona Bagri. And uh, they are to be very much commended for their commitment, creativity, and hard work in pulling all this together. A few weeks ago, Rob Lehman, chairman of the Fetzer Board of Trustees, attended one of our conference planning meetings. As he heard about our efforts for this conference, he was reminded of a conference that he had organized in 1980 uh, with the Columbia Teachers College. Uh, that meeting focused on scientific and spiritual ways of knowing, and it included David Bohm, Rollo May, Doug Sloan, and a number of other prominent figures. So it's interesting that, that here we are, more than 25 years later, uh, addressing a very similar topic. My sense, however, is that there's a new level of excitement in the air. The questions we will be discussing this weekend are indeed very close to our hearts. Questions like, is consciousness a byproduct of the material universe, or do we need to approach it in a very different way? These are persistent questions, and they won't be answered easily but we are fortunate to have a fascinating group of speakers to address some of these for this leg of the exploration. At dinner last night, I learned that one of the speakers sitting near me wrote poetry in his spare time, and another was a musician. This brought to mind a little, uh, a little quote from Einstein, who thought that beyond observations and theory lay a pre-established harmony or a music of the spheres. It's interesting that in addition to people who pursue these other applications, we also have a number of very experienced meditators. If Einstein was right, I think we'll need to bring all these finer senses to bear on some of these difficult questions. Bob Pollack asked me to express for the CSSR and for Columbia University a very, very warm welcome to this meeting. Bob is an observant Jew, and uh, he is observing his Sabbath uh, at the moment. He will join us Sunday and participate in the ethics panel. So now, without further ado, I would like to introduce uh, Chris Kelly, and I think we can begin what promises to be a very engaging weekend. Chris. <laughs> 